When we talk about squares and square roots, it's always nice to work with perfect squares. And we're going to look at perfect square fractions. So if we take a look at these, it says, are the following fractions a perfect square? If so, find the side length. So when we look at this fraction, 49 out of 100, we can see that there's 49 squares here that are shaded out of 100 squares that are whole. And if it's a perfect square, it makes a square shape. And it is a perfect square because we can see whole number pieces that make up the side length and the area. So if I take a look at the this 49 over 100, I can see that it is a perfect square. And if I want to find the side length, well, I can look at it this way. I know that this these 10 pieces make up the whole. And I can see that these seven pieces make up the part. So my side length, when I square root this, so if I do square root 49 over 100, I'm going to get seven parts, seven parts for the part and 10 parts for the whole. The square root of 49 over 100 is 7 over 10. And notice that we can just really find that by taking the square root of the part and the square root of the whole. Okay, and that gives us the, the part and whole part of the side length. We can do the same thing here. Is this a perfect square? Well, I have perfect whole number side lengths. Okay, and I have whole number side lengths for the whole. So when I square root 25 over 64, I can see that there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts that make up the part, and there's 10 or eight parts that make up the whole. Okay, so I end up with, this is five out of eight, okay? When we take a look at these, we also need to make sure we know where to put the different parts of this in. So is the eight centimeters represent the area or the side? And is eight centimeters squared represent the area or the side? So it's important to understand that in this expression, the 8 centimeters represents the side length. 8 centimeters squared represents the area. So if I can write it like this, 8 centimeters squared is my area. I could also say that 8 centimeters represents the side length. We could also say that this is equal to 64 centimeters squared. So I can say that this is 64 centimeters squared. Okay, notice that these are different. Okay, the 8 centimeters inside the bracket is a side. I square it, I get the area. Okay, here, I've just worked out the brackets. I squared the 8 and I squared the centimeters. Here, the 49 meters squared represents the area. But the 49 meters squared square rooted represents side length. So I can write this as seven centimeters of side length or this is also equivalent to saying the square root of 49 centimeters of side length of the square root of the area gives us the side length.